Hey folks, do y'all have one of these little air filters? You get them at Walmart for about 10 bucks now, but the catch, and is a big catch, is that it's practically disposable. It's a Holmes air filter system, two speeds, it's actually very quiet, you can barely hear it, and um, it has these filters. Now, here's the catch. There's five or six of these branded names that are on the back of these. And the filter comes off like so. And it's a pretty lousy filter. Now, if you'll notice, it sucks in air around everything. It's got a little seal on it. However, you can't buy this replacement filter. And this little gal right here, she is um, very high allergy level. Border Collies can be that way. Now, so we run filters in the shop in certain places where she's at all the time, but mainly in the house. And we live out in the countryside, so of course everything's very dusty. And these are good little units. They have inside of them, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there is an ozone generator inside of them. So they actually do function well as far as the fan. They only pull about 15 watts of power too. So, I mean, you could run them constant and you would, but there is no filters for these. Holmes is one brand and uh, they're sold at uh, Amazon and other places, but the cheapest place on the planet to get these is at Walmart. And I'm gonna put you a link down there that is, a, that is directly to this one right here. Now, the reason I say that is because you're talking about no under $15, under 20 for sure, but usually $15 you can get this little unit. And with the ozone ion thing inside of it, okay? Ionizer. Now, here's the filter. You cannot buy it. But it's actually a very crappy filter. It doesn't work that good. Now, what I've learned is I do have an option of one that does work. So this is one of them that I used one single layer on. And look at that. That's what it pulled out of the air. That's a lot. And that's impressive amount. And it worked very well. But if you'll notice on the back, some got through. Now, what I've started to do now is I'm taking this stuff here, which also at Walmart for a couple of bucks, you can buy this big sheet of this. And the cool thing is, is that it compresses well. That's the best part. It does compress very well. And the rear of these has a very nice grid so that you can actually place it in there. So I'm gonna show you what I do. First, we're going to remove all of this from inside of this little aluminum frame. Do not damage your aluminum frame, but if you'll notice, it's not very hard to remove it. And that's just it. It's just a little bit of wire mesh, a pre-filter, and then the main filter really out this stuff is kind of this stuff which is <laughs> same thing now you're going to take your little frame and it is it is all it is just a little aluminum frame and you'll take this and you'll lay it on top of get your side get your two pieces put together unless you just want to cut it one at a time and then you'll cut it the exact size of the frame well, let me do that right quick and i'll show you how it goes back in and you can see that it's just being done by me holding this in place and going around it with a pair of scissors and I'm cutting through both layers at the same time. You don't have to be super neat, just make sure that you're cutting it the size you need it and stay where I'm at here. So you're gonna take that little unit, you'll turn it over on its face and right now I've got mine plugged into my inverter up inside my truck up in here. You're just gonna take that filter and you're gonna just push it in. Now, it would stay on its own if you wanted it to. It does a good job of that, okay? But you can also, to make sure that it seals very well and doesn't pull air around the sides, you will take this and it is compressible so just take this and just push it in using the same original ring and it will go right down and snap into place just like that. Now the cool thing about this is that these are not washable. 
Okay, you can't wash these out, they're trash. This paper that comes with it is not washable. So you can't really clean the filter, but this, you can take these out and it is washable and reusable. And you'll see how they work. Compare these two together and you'll see what I mean. Not a very good job compared to that. So as far as I'm concerned, you can actually take these and they'll clean most of it out. Now look at that, that's the farm dust from where we're at. We get a lot of farm dust, a lot of allergens, a lot of pollens. This setup right here will process more air with less restriction. When a dust builds up, it actually becomes some of its own filter. So what you got is two speeds, a fan, and a filter that you can wash and that you can make a whole bunch of them for under 20 bucks. And it does work great. Gets a lot of the trash out of the air, pet hair and everything else, does a great job. All right, so if you're wanting to get you one of these little cheap homes as fans, like it shows down there in the bottom, I put you a link and it'll get you straight to this little fan and to these filters. There'll be two links. So the fans are cheap, summertime allergies and spring allergies and fall allergies. This removes a massive amount. And when there's two layers of this cellular compressed together, it allows a lot of airflow. But this attracts dust. It's made that way. And with the, the ionizer built into this, it's extremely effective with this alone. Just look at the stuff that came out of that one. That's the Holmes air filter. That's how to fix it. Since you can't buy replacements, there's your hack to do it.